On this episode of 3D Thursday, we're going to test a 3D printed shower head. So here's the situation. Your current shower head is just absolutely terrible. Uh, and all your, your local hardware stores, they want $50 or more for a shower head. Uh, but you have access to a 3D printer, which ironically costs more than uh, a shower head. But that's besides the point. So we found this cool design on Thingiverse by the username here on the screen. Uh, it's, it's a very nice design. It, uh, it has kind of a radial symmetry here. And the best part about it is you can print it without support. So uh, it, it just prints straight up. You don't need anything here to support the top and it's already threaded. Um, so you, know, you can take it off and before it even cools down, you can thread it onto your shower and uh, start using it. So let's take a look at it in action. So we're here reporting from a random bathroom. We're going to test the shower head. So this shower head threads on any standard half inch shower pipe. Looks really cool when you spin it. Uh, as you can see, we previously tested it and it sweats water, uh, which is not really a problem in this application, but it goes to show that 3D printed parts are not necessarily 100% watertight. So we're going to turn the water on now. A little bit of air bubbles there, but I want to actually see the water start to sweat out of the plastic a little bit better. See the water drop with form. The holes are a little too large, so uh, what happens is is this is uh, this puts out a lot of water at once. Water droplets form from uh, the really tiny leaks in the plastic, but as for the functionality, the nozzles actually work quite well. Uh, the only problem with this design is uh, it does not have a pivot, so it's fixed. And in this particular shower. actually puts it towards the back, but you have to stand right here to be able to utilize it. And uh, it's kind of awkward huddling in the corner of the shower uh, near all the faucets and whatnot. There you have it, a 3D printed shower head. So as you saw by our demonstration, it is functional, but it might not be very practical. Um, First problem we have here is it is not 100% watertight, um, so that that isn't a huge issue um, because it only sweats a little bit through these these grooves. You can see these layers. You can't tilt it. This is not possible. It's at a fixed angle, um, which luckily for the shower I was using it in uh, puts the water stream right around where where the back of the tub would be. Uh, the only problem is. Uh, you have to stand in the front of the tub to get any water on you or you have to be really short or crouch down a little bit so that's kind of a drawback I also mentioned in the demonstration it's not very efficient I don't know the exact flow rate here but these holes are quite large um, can't really see through it doesn't yeah, it doesn't work uh, so it it's like showering under a water faucet versus a shower head. There's a lot of water flow and I experienced this firsthand actually showering with it. Uh, so that, that part is kind of interesting. But aside from these impracticalities, uh, it's, it's a very usable product and it's a very cool looking one too. It's got kind of a squirrel pattern going there. So I thought of a few possible fixes for the water tightness issue. One is that I could change the settings on the printer to make the plastic bond together better. This might either be changing the temperature at which the plastic's extruded, which might cause it to melt together better, or we could do a, uh, a, a change in extrusion rate, which would allow more plastic to come out, which might make the, the design not as, uh, you know, the edges might not be as precise, but it might seal together better. Uh, that or a change in material, though ABS is generally, um, you know, it's one of the more flexible plastics and it's a thermoplastic, um, so it can bend a little bit more without uh, cracking and breaking and it's uh, a 
obviously will melt to a higher temperature. Um, so those are all things to consider in, in future revisions. And for anybody out there that has a 3D printer, I encourage you to experiment with this and see if you get different results. Or if I'm doing something wrong, just uh, you know, say something in the comments and maybe I'll try it again. See if we get a better watertight fit on there. This has been 3D Thursday. Catch you next time.